All right. Uh, hey there, this is Todd Wall with the uh, FVLive.TV interview tent uh, at the MultiGP 2015 Drone Racing Championships. Here with uh, uh, Code Red. Yes, sir. Yep, Cody, the man. So, uh, which is a native Floridian, right? No. Kansas oh, City. Not? Oh, Kansas City. Yep. Okay, all right. Okay. Got to represent cool. the guys back in Absolutely. Kansas City. Absolutely, but you live in Florida now. Yeah, I moved down to work for uh, Voodoo Quads. Voodoo Quads, yep. which is uh, uh, one of your sponsors, right? Yes. Is that the only sponsor you got, though? No, it's not. I also fly for uh, GemFam and Pulse Batteries. I got gotcha. you. GemFam Pulse Batteries. Yep. Okay, because you always have to have batteries, and you always have to have uh, right. props. Right, right. Those are the two things you go through the most, probably, more so than anything else. Uh, uh, so tell us about uh, Voodoo and your, uh, and your sponsorship with those guys. You, you're running what frame right now? Uh, this is the VDQ 210. Okay. It, it is the lightest one. It's a 3 mil deck. Wow. I prefer that. It's a little bit lighter, not as durable, but uh, right. that little bit of weight that it saves you, I, gotcha. I really like it. Okay. It's Hold it up to the camera if you don't mind. Yeah, I mean, sure. It's a uh, little... There you go. Perfect. Good Good view on that. So you're running two props instead of tri-blades. Um, yeah. A couple of the guys said that the reason they uh, fly uh, two props in a race as opposed to tri-blades is because they're a little more brittle. Is that correct? Or yeah, yeah. Uh, I like the bull nose. Uh, do you? Yeah. I've tumbled a few times today, actually, and it was able to pop Survive. right back up. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So... That's great compared to the ABS. You yeah, know, you yeah. just barely touch something and you Yeah, you definitely want to. Uh, so, so finishing a race is a big deal, right? Correct. <laughs> uh, so uh, how many races did you did you finish all your races? I finished today? two races. Two races. I have one more coming up. And what did you place in on those I two couldn't places? Tell you. Okay, gotcha. Uh, are you in the finals? Finals or? Uh, I'm number four right now. Number four. Yeah. Excellent. Super. That's good news. <laughs> That's great. So what is the biggest challenge on that course there? I mean, we've had a few people make some comments, uh, but I'd like to hear from you. You know, I actually really like the the course in the middle with the big... You're talking about the ramp and the, the over-under? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's right up my alley. You know, that's what, how I like to fly trees. I sure. always go over top, turn upside down, and hook, hook under. That's so. perfect. That yeah. wasn't even really an obstacle. You gotcha. Know, it's kind of like a, a fun... So would you say the turns out there, the hairpin turns maybe? Yeah, uh, number, five. Number, number five. Number five. Was Everybody five. says yeah, number five. Yeah, okay, yeah. so that'll get you. Number five, is that the last one on approach for the finish gate? Is that Correct. what it is? Okay. Correct. Yep. So, uh, so basically, having to come around number five, you pretty much have to keep a bank into the next turn. Yeah, absolutely. You don't get a chance to line up. Yeah, you just got to gotta pitch it and hold that angle and right. use your throttle to adjust coming in or out. Man. So it's, and, uh, uh, and a lot of guys were saying, hey, at this angle, there's no lift. <laughs> yeah, correct, correct. <laughs> it's a little tricky, so yes. you got to use momentum is what keeps you in the air, right? Okay, yep. super. So uh, so tell me, uh, as far as the uh, the races today, uh -huh. um, the uh, um, uh, the weather was off and on. Uh, mm -hmm. Again, did that affect you at all? No, you know, I'm kind of used to it by now. I've been to enough races to where you can't get worked up over weather or right. any of the issues. It's better just to roll with it and get everything straightened out. But gotcha. as of the races today, it was it was awesome. It was fast-paced. Uh, everything was on cue. People are hustling and, yeah, man. and getting their quads back. And it's been a really enjoyable yeah, race. We were cramming about uh, eight flyers at a time, yeah. you know, six to eight, give yeah. or take, which is good. Yep. Uh, and trying to make that first gate makes it a little crowded. But uh, oh, if yeah. you're off the line quick, you, you avoid it or you hold back. Right? I held back. Is that what you did, yep, I was going to say. Yep, okay. yep. I like to hold back and then just try to pick them off we, as I We go. threw them, yep. yeah. That's absolutely yeah. right. So that's cool. So uh, uh, so who's your biggest competitor out here? I mean, who would you say? Uh, I'd have to say my teammate, McFly. Yeah. Him and I battle back and forth Back and forth a good time. bit. Yeah. Yep. A lot of good camaraderie uh, via online social media. I see. Oh, I love yeah. it. It's good yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Max, Max, awesome. Yeah, he Yeah, he, uh, he really picked it up and uh, that's he, good. he impresses me every day. So. Yeah, that's great. Good news. That's Super. So, um, uh, so today, um, you know, as far as FPV racing is concerned, um, where do you see it in the next? I don't know, six months. I don't know. Uh, this will probably be obsolete, honestly, in six honestly, months. Yeah. I think so. Uh, I think our video... Meaning what, obsolete? Uh, just the, our video quality. The video, okay. Yeah, right. Yeah. I'm doing what I can with the ground station and stuff like that with uh, the dual diversity, but yep. I think it's going to be better than that. What I'm hoping for is the video to lock in like your radio does. Yeah, man. So kind of like the uh, you know the Spectrums type lock-in. Absolutely. I mean, you uh, 2.4 gigahertz, uh, you know, they're ID'd and, and channeled uh, yep. to where they don't step on each other. You can get 40 people in the air. Right. Yep. So, uh, uh, so do you think it'll be? Uh, uh, so we say digital, but will it be HD or will it be uh, lower quality? What you do know, you think? No, it's tough. But the yeah. the better you can see, the faster you can go. Absolutely. And uh, yep. without being able to see really clear, I feel like that's what's holding it back right now. Is that right? Yeah. 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 
the machines are going so fast. Man, I'm telling you. Yeah, yeah. yeah so. But but uh, in regards to that, uh, we can't have latency, right? Nope. Uh, close proximity. I mean, you got split seconds right. to make a uh, a throttle change, right. or a pitch, or a roll, yep. that kind of thing. So uh, you know, as these uh, courses become more technical, uh, uh, latency will come to play, right? Uh, or or the video quality too. So uh, so let me ask you this: What do you prefer to fly? What's your favorite flying spot? Oh man! Just curious. I uh, I like to go out by myself, honestly. Do you I, really? I take my dog out and go hit a park. Is uh, that behind the house at the park? I yeah, mean, really. there's actually a spot right across the street from my apartment. Uh, it's a wooded area. Uh, and this is out of where in Florida here? Uh, I live in Plant City. It's right outside of Tampa. Gotcha. So, okay. So yeah, I actually picked that apartment just because it had an awesome flying. Spot. Is it really? Yeah, it's starting to pick apartments now. Yeah. Our, our pilots are. That's yeah, good. Yeah. Specifically for the uh, flyable areas. So yeah. that's good. Yeah, yeah. So super. Well, yeah, thanks for stopping by the tent. Hey, and uh, wish you luck, all right? Hey, thanks a lot, man. I appreciate thanks. it. Absolutely. Good to see you. All right. Appreciate it.